X20 unboxing, take one. Dude, what was that? X20 unboxing, take two. <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm ready, I'm ready, I, I, I'm ready now. X20 unboxing, take 44. Hey, what up guys, how's it going? Okay, I'm back with something super cool now. What is it? Well, you already know because it's in the title right there on the screen. That's right, it's the brand new 2020 X20 from Venom Motorsports. That's right, now you know I had to get something for the new year and spring is approaching. So I said to Moose, who is the CEO, founder, and owner of Venom Motorsports, I said to him, you know what? You gotta do something for the spring. Weather's gonna be getting good soon. People are gonna, gonna wanna start riding again. What can you do? And you know what he said? How about a promo code? So the promo code is, guess what? That's right, Loco Booth. You see it on the screen right there and it gets you $50 off of anything on the website. Not just the X20, but anything on the website. So go ahead and use my promo code right there and you're good to go. But yeah, this thing right here is an absolute beast. I'm super excited. We get to unbox it together. Um, it's street legal in every state. No taxes, $15.99 shipped right to your door. So you don't have to worry about anything. You get the bill of sale, you get the title, all the paperwork with it. So you can go ahead and register it. One year parts and engine warranty. So yeah, so uh, yeah, what color did I get? You know I like to ask you guys what color you think I got. So go ahead and type right now in the description. Anything else you wanna see me unbox, uh, any questions about this bike, any anything, go ahead and leave it in the description as well. But since this is a live premiere and I'm watching this with you right now, so what is it? What do you think, what color? Matte white, matte black? Oh yeah, this is my Cybertruck shirt. I did pre-order a Tesla Cybertruck, so that will be coming once they do build that and get it to me. But, uh, oh wait, wait, wait. I will have a riding video soon. Like super soon. Like it's already uploaded. So when you get finished watching this video, check out the riding video. Oh yeah, don't worry. I got more content, more videos, more stuff coming. You're gonna love it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, especially for the summer. I got something else coming. Yeah, yeah. Light as. All right, all right, all right, all right, yes sir. All right, you guys, you know what it is. The brand new 2020 X20, 125cc from the one and only Venom Motorsports. You see the website on the screen there. Like I mentioned earlier, there is the promo code. $50 off of anything on the site. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a glare right here. Don't worry. Got my trusty box cutter and let's get into it. Let's get into it, come on. <laughs> Come on. What color is it? Right now, this is live. If you're watching this live, you're in the premiere, I want you to type what color do you think it is. It's either white or the other color. You guys know. All right, all right. Huh? Let me take a little peek before I unveil it to you. What color? Come on, come on. What color? What color? Let me see you type. Let me see you type down there. Ooh, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. All right, come on, come on. Let me just cut it open. Huh? Come on, you guys. You know I like the white. You know I love the cocaine white, the snow white, the marshmallow white. That's how I get down. That's why I have a white Tesla Model 3 right there. And uh, yeah, yeah. This thing is a beast. Love the red. Uh, brakes right there beast all right let me move the cardboard out of the way we got a box of goodies here and uh yeah yeah oh yeah your paperwork's right there come on let's get into it come on come on now before i zoom in and bring it in a little closer something that i want you guys to see the way my bike came is the same way your bike's gonna come just like this as you can see it's fully assembled the only thing we got to do is attach the battery put on the mirrors and put a little gas in it and the handlebars. Once you do that, you're rocking and rolling. So yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, before you just throw away the cardboard, recycle. Think about Mother Earth. Come on, you guys. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, now that that's out of the way, something I wanna show you right here that's really important. You're like, Loke, Loco. 
Is it street legal? Well, of course it is, just like it says on the website. Now, here is your paperwork. You'll see it somewhere on your bike, probably the top, just like this. And uh, that way you're good to go and nothing to worry about. So this is important, so make sure not to lose this. So uh, yeah, the next thing I'm gonna do is go around the, the metal cage here. And now as you can see, there are bolts everywhere securing your bike inside this uh, cage to keep it from getting damaged during shipping. Now I'm gonna go around the bottom if you want, you could do it a different way, but that's what I do. I go around the bottom of the bike here, undo all the bolts, and then me and another person will lift up on the cage and take it off. That way, uh, with two people, you don't scratch your bike at all. If you try to do it by yourself, you could scratch the bike and you don't wanna do that to your brand new bike. So uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get my power tools and uh, go around the cage real quick and take it off. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around the bike. Okay, so now all the bolts around the bottom are done, but it's still not ready to come off. I'm gonna show you some other bolts we have to take off around the handlebars, and the handlebars are also zip tied to the cage. So you're gonna need to cut that zip tie off as well. I'm gonna bring the camera in closer and show you that. Okay, so uh, here's a better angle. So I'm gonna cut this zip tie off right here. Oh, and in case you were wondering, I was using a, um, 10 millimeter uh, socket for the bolt when I was going around and a 12 millimeter uh, wrench on the opposite side of this for the nut on the back. Okay, now that I cut the zip tie off the handlebars, you can see these bolts right in here where you'll actually um, put the handlebars later on. But you see these four right here, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go ahead and undo these because you see the metal cage runs through there and there's no way else to get the cage off. So I'll undo these and then that way I can lift the cage right off. But um, that's one reason why I like doing these videos because exactly what I'm doing and going through is exactly what you will go through when you get the bike. So there won't be any surprises. Everything you see here will be the same on yours when you get it. So uh, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let me uh, take these off. Okay, now that the cage has been removed, this is also a good time to go ahead and um, put on the handlebars. And then uh, as you can see, there are hash marks right here and right there. And then um, obviously you wanna put the handlebars within those hash marks. So uh, yeah, I have some Loctite here. This will help the bolts never come loose. Not like they will, but you know, just in case. Now I'm only putting a little because this stuff is no joke. This is the blue Loctite. And uh, yeah, a little goes a long way, so I don't need too much. And then I'm gonna put it on there. And then let me go ahead and um, tighten these, not all the way. I'm gonna get on the bike and see where I like the handlebars exactly before I completely lock this down. All right. All right, you can go ahead and uh, unwrap these. I'm gonna be careful, very careful here not to cut anything on the bike. And uh, that way I can get rid of this bubble wrap quicker. Now, like I said, I'm gonna get on the bike here and see just about where I want my handlebars. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, tighten them up. But once you have them set, like myself here, yeah, about right there. And then you can go ahead and lock them down. So uh, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll get back to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the rest of the plastic off and let's go ahead and connect the battery. Now something really quick, you guys, as you can see, I'm using uh, different tools. You are gonna need some basic tools. Uh, that's one tool kit that I have there. And then uh, let me see over here. I have my uh, DeWalt tool chest over there with a plethora of tools. Uh, not like you need anything like that crazy, but you are gonna need some basic tools that you see me using here to fully get this uh, up and going.
So if you don't have any tools, talk to a neighbor, just get some basic stuff. But yeah, yeah, just little stuff you'll need here and there, nothing major. Also, before I lift it out of the cage or before you do, there are some uh, wire ties down here. So it's on the right and the left. And uh, if you want, you could, you know, unravel this. It'll take a little longer. Or if you have some wire cutters like I do, just go ahead and uh, cut it off and just one little snip. Okay. You're good to go. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, let's see this box of uh, goodies that they gave us. Really quick. So you can see what comes in the box with your bike. Okay, I'm guessing here will be your mirrors that you'll need, at least in the state of California, to ride it legally. And uh, don't worry, we'll put these on. I'll show you how to put them on. So they have your mirrors. Here, I'll take them out for you so you can see. There are your mirrors, good to go. Now they even include a little uh, battery charger in case you ever need it. Plug this into the wall, connect this to the positive and negative on your uh, motorcycle battery in there and uh yeah let that charge that was nice of them to include that it's something new see they thought about you guys right what okay what else what else okay got extra uh clutch and uh i believe brake cable right yeah extra speedy speedy spark plug and the manual for the owner. <laughs> yeah, the owner's manual, all good. So yeah, let's uh, connect the battery. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, come on, come on. All right, let's pop the seat on this. Take the plastic off the ciggity seat. It's 2020, so I got the 2020. Ugh. All right, let me bring the camera in closer so you guys can see how we're gonna attach the battery, but it's simple. You already know this. We've done this plenty of times, but I'm still gonna show you. Come on, guys, let's check it out. All right, here we are, you guys. As you can see, there's red there and there's black there, positive and negative. Uh, yeah, plus the plus and the minus. So here's our mounting hardware right here. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. Super juiced, I can't wait to ride this thing. Gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. All right, uh, yeah, so your mounting hardware is here. Let me go ahead and get that out of here. Uh, you do have fuses. They even give you an extra one in case you need it, but one's already there and there is an extra one. Okay, so got our mounting hardware here. There you go, it's in that little bag. And uh, very simple, you'll just put one of these on the bottom. Be sure to hold your finger there so it doesn't slide out and you lose that piece. Then the other one I'm gonna thread through here on the negative. So it's like that and then just put it in here. All right, now if you have a screwdriver, you'll go ahead and tighten that down. I have my impact driver, so I'm gonna use that. But I'm going slow. Okay, and that's it. Once you feel it nice and snug. And then rinse and repeat. I'm gonna do the same, th same thing on the positive side. As you can see, right there. Okay, and the same thing on the positive side here. Let me go ahead and tighten that up.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do just to make sure this is connected correctly, uh, I'm gonna take the keys out of the side there and uh, put them in the ignition and just make sure everything lights up. I'm not gonna start it. Well, there's no gas in there anyways, but uh, I'm just gonna turn the key and yeah, the headlights are lit. Yes, sir. Looking good. So let's go ahead and put the seat back on and let's put some gas in here. All right, so let's put some gas in here. All right, uh, yeah, yeah. So now I'm just using regular gas, nothing special. And uh, boom, take that right out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now, let's see if it starts. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and put in uh, the mirrors so you guys can see how to do that. It's really easy, simple to do. It's already threaded right here. And you just pop it in and turn this around. All right, then if you like it about right there, you can just go ahead and tighten this by hand and then with a wrench, that way it'll go ahead and stop right there. So I'm just gonna do that on the other side and then uh, yeah, yeah, let's start it up. So yeah, you guys, as you could see, that's it. Now, I often get asked how tall I am. I am 5'11", about 165 pounds. So uh, yeah, this is what it'll look like on you. This is a good frame of reference. Uh, yeah, I am 5'11". Now, something that I will say, and this, pay attention here, go around the entire motorcycle and make sure all your bolts and screws and everything on here are just tight. Like, just double check for yourself. Now, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's fully assembled. It took no time. The only thing we did was what? Put on the mirrors, uh, adjust the handlebars, and, uh, unwrap it pretty much and you're rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, and connect the battery and put gas. But that's simple. That's the fun stuff, right? Right, so uh, yeah. Also make sure you have oil in here. Pull the dipstick out. And uh, yeah, just make sure you see something on the hash marks. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm probably gonna change mine just because I have oil here and that's just what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna try to start it now and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, when I'm done with this, hopefully it starts, uh, I'm gonna bring the camera in closer and do a walk around so you could see everything on the bike closer up. I won't be talking at all. I'll probably throw some music or something behind there and I'll just walk around and do a close up of the bike so you could see. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Don't worry, my garage door is open. Stop it, don't worry. Not bad. First, first try. That's dope. Okay, let's bring the camera in closer so you guys can check it out. Yes, sir. I think I'm gonna order something else. I think I'm gonna get something else from Venom. Who knows, you'll have to stay tuned. Now, if you're on my Instagram, they get a little sneak peek before everybody, so join my Instagram. Yeah, check in the description. All right, you guys, so here's a better look. I'm going to go around with it, um, me talking a little bit, so you just understand the bike, and then after that, I'll just go around with it, me not, not talking at all. But, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a better, closer look at the brakes here, how well it's built. Um, I absolutely love it. Still got the plastic on it. Come on, guys. Yes, sir. That's where you put your uh, license plate. Fully street legal, so you don't have to worry. And uh, yeah, even got pegs in the back for your passenger rider. Now this is a manual transmission, I wanna be clear on that. Here's your rear brake. All right. Here's your uh, front brake. That's the stop, and that's to start the bike when you're on it, and then that's to stop it. Okay, here are your uh, lights. 
like your tail light in the back. Right here is your uh, push start. Yes, sir. Got the mirrors on. And uh, yeah, handlebars and um, and there's your digital dash. You set the time, you got the miles per hour. As you see, I still need gas. I only put a little bit in there, but um, yeah, yeah, it's all good. And then here's how you clear and then uh, switch modes and stuff. As you can see, trip, total, all that stuff. And I have zero miles. Haven't even gone a mile. Uh, yeah. There's your horn, extremely loud. That's your high beam, as you can see on my car there. Okay. Gas tank, and it is locked. Super, super soft, but firm. Soft, but firm, kind of nice cushion for sure. The seat, as you see, the one and only Venom Motorsports. Yes, sir. Shout out to Moose, the CEO and founder and chairman of Venom Motorsports Canada dot com. And uh, yeah, yeah. What's up to all the guys working in the warehouse? Yes, sir. Dope. I mean, just look at it. It's like, just look at it. How do you not love that? And I like the matte white. Remember before the other bikes I get, it's either a glossy red or a glossy white. Like this is like a nice matte white. That's like the new thing now. I'm feeling this. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, Moose. Okay, here's the front. Nice LED headlight. And look at that blue light, how they put that there below. Dope. Okay, let's do the uh, turn signal so you can see. All right, let's see it in the back. And uh, let me see if I can show you the brake. Okay, and turn signal off. That's the right. Off. Sure. Uh, for the clutch, here's where you're shifting. Also, got a rear peg in the back for your passenger. Rear peg, kickstand. Don't worry, I put this here because I don't want to scratch up my uh, epoxy floor. Yes, sir, fellas. It's looking good now. Here's where you um, put your key when you want to get to the battery. Take the seat off right here, boom, boom, and you're good to go. All right, guys, lighters.